Hey guys, I'm back again with another build video and today I'll be going over Styanax, the Spearman, one of my favorite Warframes in the game because how cool he looks. Look at him, look at this big guy. He's so cool. I'm not buying the skin on him by the way, fudge that. <laughs> but yeah, so today's build is all about him being able to nuke entire groups of enemies. Ah uh, yes, another nuking build. Great. <laughs> As you can see here. I removed my shield for expedite suffering because any bleed procs will may, uh, combine into a burst if I, I cast. Uh, very good paired up with final stand because final stand does a lot of bleed. Sometimes it just has this weird glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but it doesn't proc as consistently, but it's completely fine. So yeah, let's get into the build. As you can see, I have three red shards. Duration, duration, and get away, or this duration, duration, and strength, and two max energy uh, shards because I'm not using prime flow today. So yeah, here's the build. Power strength, of course. Power strength, power strength, and another power strength mod. Augur secrets. Uh, don't mind the red polarity. I kind of wanted a different build, but eh. Uh. Uh, range mods, uh, cunning drift, overextended, and stretch, because I can cast expedite suffering and it'll go to a wider area and range. As you can see, 30 meters, very nice. Uh, equilibrium for energy conversion and streamline for my energy efficiency, and the most important mod in this build, his augment where it gives overguard when I press final stand because I'm not using rolling guard as you can see I'm using this because overguard's really strong and uh, you need it you really need it uh, energize for energy and molt augmented or more, more strength but yeah that's the build uh, the Riga build as you guys know not that hard you guys already know my build for the Riga and Hellstrom and I'm gonna go to my weapons now because I'll be using Amalgam Serration and the Inadum Evolution for sprint speed because my if I cast my 4 and I'm on the air uh, I move faster with more sprint speed so yeah let's get into testing I need to use that more that that new uh, quick quick whatever wheel uh, whatever it was uh, fast travel it's so good but I just forget to use it oh my god is this a good tell set? Please be a good tell set. Just uh, no energy. That's that sucks. Didn't drop a single energy. That is so sad. That is so sad. But yeah, uh, let's see here. Can you drop me health orbs at least? All right, that's fine, I guess. All right, you do this, and then all you do, expedite suffering. Uh, the reason why I didn't remove my javelins is because, boom. I want to pull them in. I want to pull them in, of course. I'm not using my Nautilus because it's too lazy. I, d I don't want to use Nautilus because also the Dariga procs. Uh, what's it called? The Dariga procs uh, sent the construct way better because it has arc coil. And arc coil is electric. Oh my god. I should use Archon Strike, of course, but even without it. <laughs> Look at that. Energy efficiency. No problem. As you could see just now, uh, this one didn't die because you saw I only proc two slash for some reason. Only two. 23 slash procs. And bail them into the wall. Do this. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh my god. Such a fun way to play Cyan X. Oh my god. Everyone just dies in front of me. Everyone just dies in front of me. Oh my god. So fun. As you saw just now, 5. Two, three, five, six. Yeah, sometimes the javelins just don't want to proc properly. I don't really know why. Uh, but it's like that. Can't really complain. 
Oh my god, they all died. Eximus, no problem. Dead. 2 million damage. 2 million damage. Oh my god. Boom. Oh, this one didn't die because... Oh, I didn't prank a proc and... Ah. As you can see, not enough procs. It needs to be at least 20. It needs to be at least 20 to kill the Eximus. But yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's inconsistent sometimes. If you guys know why, you can leave it down in the comments so I understand why, of course. I, I want to know also <laughs> why it's so freaking uh, inconsistent sometimes. 346 kills as you can see. Really freaking good. I love this. I have decent spawn rates right now and the freaking Talset isn't fighting against me. I'm happy. I was testing this like a few like no a few hours ago I think or last night uh, or last or ye yesterday I guess to you guys bro like they weren't giving me a good tell set to, to play with like all the tell sets were just horrible oh my god this is so fun He's also really good against Acolytes, even without weapons. Of course, a weapon still does more damage than him. Uh, and similar to Dante, because Expedite Suffering is just Dante's fourth skill. Similar to Dante, uh, he can kill Acolytes with Expedite Suffering, but you need more power strength. But I don't need more power strength. This is way, way enough. Like, it's, it's so good. As you can see, I'm not dead because overguard. And as you can see, expert is suffering almost three times, basically three times. And I think, yeah, three times, three times uh, multiply. Boom. Fun way to play Steinax. Oh my god, Madurai. Don't fail me, Madurai. Sometimes you won't hit people from the wall, like beside the wall, of course. This thing only has a... The Javelin has only a 15 meter explosive radius. The explosive also does slash, of course. I don't know why, but it does it. It's very useful. Now, I just need the Acolytes to spawn now, like... No joke. Oh. Speak of the devil, as soon as I said it. Alright, 16, 16 stacks, I don't know why. Who are you? Oh, the Valkyrie one, angst. As you can see, similar to Dante, the only problem uh, he has for Expedite Suffering is just the range and stuff. Or not the range, uh, not doing as much damage. 678 and uh, yeah that's the build not bad spawn 700 kills 700 kills isn't bad in 5 minutes 20 uh, similar similar uh, kills from my community post 755 because uh, the community post we had a way better tell set for them to spawn. This one is decent, but not enough, as you can see. Pretty good. Pretty freaking good. He's fun. He's invincible. Uh, he can also armor strip if you don't want his javelin. So yeah, that's also a plus. And yeah, so let's recap. Right. Archon shards are duration, duration, strength. Energy, energy. You can subsume Expedite for Javelin, but I'm not doing it because I want the Javelin mechanic. But you can. And this is the build. We're going for Power Strength, Power Strength, Power Strength, and another Power Strength. So four Power Strength mods, Equilibrium and Intensify, uh, not Intensify, <laughs> Equilibrium and Streamline for Energy Efficiency and Energy Conversion, Stretch, Overextended, and Cunning Drift for Range, and of course, his most important mod, Augment. 
so you can survive way longer. Energized as the arcane and mold augmented. And yeah, that's the build for Cyanex, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.